I'm Angela Wolf, fashion designer and online instructor, and we are continuing it on with our jacket, and today we're doing a decorative trim, kind of. How about these loops? Or what about this? I use lining on the inside for the belt. It just gives it a touch of color, and this is where little belts will go around here. So let me show you how easy this is. You have a few options. It really depends how thick the fabric is. So put interfacing on one side. You can see I've cut these about an inch and a quarter wide. Now, a very easy way to do this would be just to stitch lining with right sides together, stitch on each side, and turn this right side out, and you could press, and you would have belt loops. But it's a little tricky to turn a long piece, and I like to sew a bunch of these together. What about if you had a piece of fabric, you have the interfacing, and then you pressed it in and in again? You could do that, except that's a little thick. So here's my favorite idea. This is a nice wide belt loop, and the inside is finished with lining. And you can see the top stitching. So I did the same process for the belt as I do the belt loops, pretty close at least. Press interfacing to the wrong side. The next step is going to be with right sides together, stitch your lining to that belt loop all the way down. Now this time I cut the belt loops, well, loops, whatever you wanna call them, about two inches wide. So let's go to the sewing machine. Actually, first we'll press, because that's a little bit easier. I just mentioned that it's hard to sew this and then flip it right side out, so here's an easier way. Give it a good pressing. I'm pushing the lining away from the belt loop. All right, and then I'm going to flip this again. And notice how I'm pushing it, the fabric just a little bit so the lining doesn't go right to the edge. So I'm pushing that back, giving it a good pressing. You wanna make sure it's even though. So if it's not, just push it back a little bit more. All right. Now the lining, I'm using silk, so that's really thin. So what I'm gonna do now is turn this side of the fabric under again. If you need to see it from that side, that's fine. I'm just gonna tuck it under. Give it one more pressing. I know you're probably thinking at this point, I think flipping it would be faster. <laughs> it might be, but this gives it a really fun look. And one more. All right, and then last but not least, I'm just gonna tuck this lining, flip this back open, tuck this lining inside and down, just like that. So again, it's not touching the edge of the fabric, Remember, nobody's gonna see the inside. It just kind of looks a little bit cool if it does flip out. Give it one more pressing. A little crooked down here, but I think you get the idea. Let's go to the sewing machine. I'm going to use a double or triple stitch, and I'm going to put the needle in the center position. I just like that easier. It's easier to sew for me, but it's whatever your preference is. First thing I'm going to do is stitch down the edge, about a quarter of an inch. Now I'm not gonna go down the whole way because I think you'll get the idea. All right, I'm gonna stop. You'll do that all the way down the piece. So you can imagine you can get all of your belt loops done in one. There you go. And now I'm gonna do one more thing. That was just a regular stitch like that, the triple stitch. Now I'm gonna change the stitch length just so you can see the difference because I would normally sew this with a 4.0 or a 4.5. See the difference? So you'll run two more stitches down this side. Let's go back up here. This is what it ended up looking like if you can look closely at these stitches and then the back. And then there is a ton of hardware you can choose from. If you're going to have lining on the back, you're not going to want to use two because this will flip under and you'll see your lining. But you have these, belt loops, add these, and lastly, you might want to look at a second hand shop because some of these belt loops are great to use on your jacket. So that's how you make the loops and the belt. Same process.